Thank you. The gay marriage debate took over the Nevada Senate last night up in Carson City when after an hour of intense testimony, the Senate narrowly passed a measure that if it keeps going from here would repeal Nevada's gay marriage ban. Our Capitol correspondent Mackenzie Warren joins us live from up north. And Mackenzie, this was a, a deeply personal vote for some. Jim, one state senator announcing he's gay. We'll have more on state senator Kelvin Atkinson's bold announcement in a minute. But for one senator, this vote was about coming out against the beliefs of his church. A lot of people watching this same-sex marriage vote said it would come down to WWJD. What would Jones do? State Senator Justin Jones is a Mormon Democrat. The Mormon church opposes gay marriage. But Jones says even if his Mormon constituents don't send him back for another another legislative session. It's not about that. For Jones, it was about sticking up for his family. Have a listen. My brother-in-law Bryce is an Eagle Scout. He sang in a church choir with Gladys Knight for, for many years. Bryce is gay, but I would rather lose an election than look my brother-in-law in the eye every Sunday and tell him that he shouldn't have the same rights as I do, as his sister does. For Bryce, I will be voting yes. And you could feel the emotion there. Senator Kelvin Atkinson also voting yes, bolstering his support with a brave announcement. He's gay. Atkinson's family, friends, and colleagues already knew his sexual preference, but Atkinson had never come out to say, I'm gay. He says it wasn't about his coming out, but about sticking up for equal rights of all Nevadans. And it was a split vote just one Republican, your colleague, State Senator Ben Kikeffer, coming forward. He didn't say anything last night, but that green light meant a lot. It meant a lot. I looked right at him after the vote, and he gave me his thumbs up, and he stood up on the floor afterwards, and, and he got up, and he shook my hand. No words were exchanged, but I knew he felt he did the right thing. Yeah, I didn't, uh, I didn't and Atkinson hoping that the Nevada Assembly will vote the same way, too. It was a 12 to 9 vote in the Senate and now goes to the Assembly. But changing this would require the vote to come back again for the legislature in 2015. And the voters would ultimately decide in 2016 if they want to repeal Nevada's gay marriage ban. Back in 2002, Nevada voters said marriage should be kept between a man and a woman. But the ball is rolling to get started to change uh, an important law for a lot of people in the state. Jim and Jess will be watching it. All right. That was a really compelling interview that you had with Senator Atkinson, and we'll look forward to hearing more of that uh, yep. later. Thank you, McKenna.